This video is made in cooperation with Meat and Livestock Australia. Look for the MLA quality seal for assurance in all Australian meat. In a previous video, we butchered this lamb from Top Paddock. Today, I'll show you how to cook lamb spare ribs. Top Paddock lambs are all grass-fed. They're from Southern Australia, and they're raised naturally with no added hormones or antibiotics. Now for this recipe, you're gonna need two cloves of garlic minced. You're also gonna need two sprigs of fresh rosemary, herbs de Provence, balsamic vinegar, 80 ml. We're also gonna use olive oil, about 25 ml, 80 ml of honey. When we get to cooking, you're gonna need some aluminum foil, and also you'll need some fr fresh cracked black pepper and sea salt. Now, to get started, take the garlic, the rosemary, and a nice spoonful of herbs de Provence. Then add 25 ml of olive oil, 80 ml of honey, and about the same amount of balsamic vinegar. Just give this a good stir just to incorporate the honey in with the acid of the vinegar. It doesn't really make that much difference if it's all homogenized, but just so that it's lightly mixed. Then take a zipper bag, put your two racks of ribs into that zipper bag. and pour this mixture right straight in. Then I zipper this shut, not all the way, and fold it right onto itself, forcing as much air out as you can. Then finish the zip and give these ribs a good massage. Then, into the chill chest it goes. Chiller, refrigerator, anything that's cold, it needs to sit in there overnight. If you can remember, take it and flip it over at least once. It's been 24 hours. Now we remove the ribs from the refrigerator, pull them out of the package. We'll reserve this liquid and use that in a minute. Put them onto a plate. Take some paper towels and just pat this dry. It doesn't make any difference if there's still some garlic, but we want this, especially this top part, we want it to be brown. And there's no way to brown if the surface is wet. The surface has got to be dry. Take some salt and grind it on. Both sides. Same with pepper. Then take your saute pan and get it heated up. Put it on medium high. Just lightly film the um, inside of this pan with some vegetable oil. Let that oil heat up just briefly. And then one by one, take these ribs and put it right in to that hot saute pan. Now, while those are sauteing, preheat our oven to 130 degrees. I chopped up one whole bunch of mint leaves. Then on top of that, I have just some standard mirepoix. That's some onions and celery. Along with these potatoes. Now these potatoes, I'm just gonna lightly oil and also put right into the pan. Also, this is giving the ribs something to be mounted on. And nice and brown, and those go right on top of the mirepoix mix. The other rack in, and we do the exact same thing. Now our next step is to take that reserve cooking liquid and pour it right into this hot pan. 
And I have some lamb jus, or some lamb stock actually. And we're just gonna dilute that together. And this is gonna be our base, and it's also gonna be what is gonna give these ribs some moisture along the way. We'll just pour some of this right over the top. And now this gets moved right into the oven. We're gonna put this in the center. And into the oven it goes. That's gonna cook for between two and a half and three hours. Every 30 minutes, we're just gonna take the ribs, turn them over, check the amount of liquid, and if we need to add more liquid, we'll add it then. It's been three and a half hours. These have rested for about five minutes, and I'm gonna play. I like to take one rack and place it straight on, and then carve the other rack up. See how nice and tender this came out. Let's take this reduced pan sauce, spoon it right over the top. 